Hello guys, I'm Scripter Blood. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I will explain Zindex. Zindex is a property of GUI objects, which I will show you now. So, if we add in a frame and put in the frame a text button or anything else, which color we make something else, then you see that the button is in front of the frame because the child of a GUI object is always in front of the parent of that GUI object. object. But what if we want for two frames being there in our GUI and that they don't are each other's parent in any way but at the same time they are one of them is in front of the other. Well, for this we need Zindex, where we're already at what I want to explain. Because let's just make one frame red and make the other frame green. It seems like our second frame is in front. Let's just make the bad frame bigger so we can see. And now, what if we want the green frame be behind the red frame? Then we can just change the red frame's index to something higher of the green frame in our case. And now, as you see, the green frame is behind. And imagine index as layers. So there's layer 1, Zindex 1, there's layer 2, Zindex 2, Zindex 3, Zindex 4, and the bigger Zindex is more in front, is in a high, so this one is Zindex 2, so it's in layer 2, which is closer to the screen print, in a way, so, and everything that's under Zindex 2 will not be seen if it's behind Zindex 2. And when we have, but if we now again want the green frame to be in front, we need to make it in index 3, so it's in front of index 2. If you've ever played flowlab.io, then you might understand the part. Because if you know flowlab.io, then you can think of the whole thing like light in flowlab, uh, different layers, like the background layer and the front in-game layer and things like that but in this case it's just GOIs with which one is in front of which so just think about it for simply thinking about it a higher index will be more in front and so if you want that you have for instance one black screen that will be in front of everything for instance, when the whole your whole game starts, then just make the index to the biggest number you'll ever make. This will make so your, that frame will have the highest priority, and in that way, it will as well be in front of everything. Okay, that was a quick explanation to UI index. I hope you have enjoyed it. Bye! If you'd like this video, then please just give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, then just click the thumbnail that should be on your screen now. And if you as well want to support my work at no extra cost, then just click on the thumbnail that should be right now in the middle of your screen.